I have now heard many, many times that the PlayStation's controller sticks are in the wrong place. I do not agree. The Xbox 360 controller is asymmetrical. It's also big and heavy. The controller fits tightly into the palms of the hands so that the work of holding it can be shared between the palms and the fingers. In my experience of playing with this controller, I find the left hand configuration to be satisfactory. You move constantly using the left stick and barely use the left D-pad. I find the right hand configuration totally satisfying when predominantly pressing buttons. I find it awkward in the default position for two stick action and end up in this position, giving access to both stick and buttons. Essentially an asymmetrical hand position for an asymmetrical pad. This is no problem per se, but it puts all the weight of the heavy pad into the left hand. The PlayStation controller is smaller and much lighter. If you cram it into the palm of your hand to grip it, none of the controls are in a good position. Even when the PlayStation controller had no sticks, nobody held it like that. It was always light and could always be held at the fingertips. At fingertips, this symmetrical controller can be held symmetrically. All controls reasonably convenient. The weight of the pad is crucial in making all of these buttons equally convenient favoring no particular configuration. It is often said that this design is simply a legacy hangover from the first PlayStation pad or that it's a purely aesthetic decision to keep things symmetrical. It seems clear to me that this thing could have been all battery. They deliberately made it so light to make it convenient to sit at the fingertips, thereby allowing access to all areas of the pad. I have nothing to say about which layout is superior and I don't think anything's wrong with either of them. And I, for one, would be very sad if this configuration were to change.